Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned what is the relation between potential difference between the two points of the conductor and the current flowing through it using Ohm's law. In this lesson we will try to solve some numericals. So according to Ohm's law, the potential difference between the two points of the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided the temperature remains the same. So V by I is equal to constant and this constant is called resistance. It represents the property of the conductor to resist the flow of charges through it. So V by I is equal to resistance R or V equal to I times R. So let's take some example. How much current will an electric heater coil draw from a 220 volt source if the resistance of the heater coil is 110 ohms? We are given V equal to 220 volts resistance R equal to 110 ohms and we need to find I. So we know I is equal to V by R. So I equal to 220 by 110 which is equal to 2 ampere. So 2 ampere of electric current is passing through the heater circuit. Let us do the same problem but use electric bulb instead of heater. So how much current will an electric bulb draw from a 220 volt source if the resistance of the bulb filament is 1100 ohms. So we are given V equal to 220 volts, R equal to 1100 ohms and we need to find I. So we know I equal to V by R. So putting the values we get 220 by 1100 which is equal to 0.2 amps. So 0.2 amp of electric current is passing through the filament of the bulb. So let us compare the two examples. The voltage is same as both the appliances are connected to the same power supply and in India it is 220 volts. In other countries like in US it is 110 volts. So in case of heater the resistance is 10 times lesser than the bulb. Heater has 110 ohms and bulb has 1100 ohms. Whereas the current flowing through the heater is 10 times higher than the bulb. And that makes sense also. According to Ohm's law, if voltage is constant, current is inversely proportional to resistance. And this high current leads to its filament becoming hot and giving us the necessary heat to keep us warm and cozy in winters. So we'll learn more about it in, in the next lesson. Bye-bye.